Hello. Welcome to part 3 of our series. Synchronous, Timing Belts. Let's get started. Timing belts are different from other types of belts, because they have teeth. The teeth prevent the belt from slipping, and therefore allow for the timing of parts. Imagine a mechanical clock powered by belts. A timing belt would keep the hands in the correct position, while other belt types would cause the hands to spin uncontrolled. Timing belts offer high power in a smaller area, superior timing with a low position error, as well as high load transference. Timing belts require two pulleys with grooves to transmit mechanical power across axles. They must also be separated by a minimum distance, known as center distance. Pitch is the measurement from the center of one tooth to the center of the adjacent tooth. Pitch length is the total distance, or circumference, around the belt. Belt width is the measured distance across the belt at the widest point. Increasing the belt's width will also increase the belt strength. Timing belt construction. There are four main components of a timing belt. 1. Tensile member. Tensile member attributes to a belt's elasticity and stiffness under tension, and is one marker of precision synchronization. The tensile member can be either fiberglass, aramid, kevlar, steel, or polyester. 2. Teeth. The projection on a belt which tethers to a pulley, made typically of neoprene or polyurethane. Teeth are the second marker of precise synchronization. 3. Backing. Backing is the exterior side of a timing belt, typically made from neoprene or polyurethane. 4. Face. The belt face can be different, or the same material as the backing. The belt face is the surface on which the teeth sit. Synchronous timing belts are available in several different tooth shapes or profiles. The profiles which we carry are 1. HTD Profile Belts The HTD Profile is a registered trademark of the Gates Corporation. They have a round tooth shape also known as curvilinear. Curvilinear belts have better tooth contact with the grooves of mating pulleys, this eliminates belt stress, which is problematic in a trapezoidal tooth profile. HTD profiles outmatch trapezoidal profiles in terms of noise, torque and wear. The HTD belt profile was developed for high torque applications and is not suitable for precision indexing. Number 2. GT Profiles, another Gates registered trademark, have a modified curvilinear profile, which offers higher precision than convention curvilinear belts and are used in applications such as XY machines, robotics, and printers. The modified profile allows for better meshing of belt and pulley in smaller clearances, unlike typical curvilinear profile belts, where clearances are much greater. Number 3. FHT Type Belts FHT belts are a registered trademark of the Fenner Corporation and have a shape which is a modified curvilinear profile. FHT or Fenner High Torque Profiles are suitable for high torque applications and offer low noise and low backlash. MXL 40DP, XL, and T, have a trapezoidal profile. The trapezoidal belt profile is a long-established profile, and is superseded by the curvilinear tooth profile. Because stress in a trapezoidal belt is concentrated at the base of the teeth, a high amount of belt wear occurs during the belt's operation. This will reduce the life of the belt. We offer timing belts as small as 1mm pitch, and as large as 10mm pitch, also available in, inch, sizes. We keep an inventory of the most common standard inch and metric belt widths, including inch sizes 1 8, 3 16, 1 4, 3 8, 3 4, a half, and 1 inch, and metric sizes including 3 mm, 6 mm, 9 mm, 10 mm, 15 mm, 16 mm, and 25 mm. We are capable of cutting virtually any belt width, in fact we cut 30,000 belts per week.